Hey, what's up, y'all? What's cracking? What's popping? It's D about to react to this lovely TTV vid. It's titled Sean Baby Oil Combs. What? Has something come out about him with baby oil? Uh, he has been arrested and charged with racketeering conspiracy trafficking. Full breakdown. Okay, we getting all the tea, all the details about what this man is charged with. And I just said it in a, a video recently. Y'all be denying my power. What did I just say? I just uploaded a Diddy video and I was like, y'all, why is he not in jail? What's happening? I feel like a lot of people have said that though. <laughs> but I just said it. And now, jail. Jail time. <laughs> anyway, look, let's see what's happening. Let's watch. It don't matter if you Diddy or whoever you is. It don't matter if you Diddy or whoever you is. TGJ, Tenny, um, the, all, every, all lies will be exposed. That's all. And, and, and anyone who takes that the wrong way, know why they take it the wrong way. The truth is the light. We, we, no, no, it's not planned. Certainly, it, it, it's not planned by us. Um, I mean, he came here to, to surrender uh, at a time of real I spent, I spent the, the evening with him, I was leaving at about 1 o'clock. His spirits are good, he's confident, um, he is dealing with this head on, the way he's dealt with every challenge in his life, and um, he's, he's not guilty, he's innocent of these charges. What? Uh, we, know, we know what the charges are going to be without seeing the indictment, it's going to be racketeering, it's going to be sex trafficking, it's going to be things along those lines. Because y'all know what uh, This is what we've been expecting since the search is in March. He, he, to his great credit, he voluntarily came to New York. Not a lot of defendants do that. Um, he came to New York to, to to basically engage the court system and start the case, and they'll start today. And um, he's, he's going to plead not guilty, obviously. He's going to fight this with uh, all of his energy and all of his might and the full confidence of his lawyers. And I expect a, a long battle with a good result for Mr. Combs. Hey, tea sippers I hope you guys are doing good today. When I tell you that Cat Williams' gift is the gift that keeps on gifting, okay? Like he said back then, all of these big dick deviants will be exposed. Not the big like dick I've been deviants. exposing Diddy for years after being cussed out, threatened, people disrespecting me, people going hard for Diddy. Now the chickens oh. are coming home to roost. Papa Diddy was arrested last night. Y'all know I've been reporting that he's been out there in Harlem, you know, trying to Harlem shake with a bunch of washed up, crackish men, Ooh. you know, trying to get that street credibility back. Whereas, you know, when he was doing good, he never went to Harlem to go slum around with crackish people, okay? <laughs> right. He always hung with the elites and, you know, was out there in Hollywood with all his Hollywood friends. Well, but, you know, once he got into trouble, he wanted to go back to his roots. Well, while mm. out there trying to find his roots. He's trying to get some tips on what to do in jail because Johnny Depp just got out of jail. So he needs to know how to how to live his life and how to stay safe. Basically, uh, ran up on him and arrested him. And they said that they were going to wait till today to arrest him. But I think they felt that he might get ready to run. So they ended Some up arresting off about him last mugshot. night. Now, the lawyer is saying that um, we already know what the charges will be. There'll be possible sex trafficking and drugs. You know, we've been prepared for this. My client is innocent. Yeah, the same client that you said didn't put hands on Cassie. And then all of a sudden, whoopsie daisy, the damn video leaked of Diddy basically kicking her down the hallway like a football. Mm. That, that Diddy mm. that you claim did nothing wrong. So, anyways, I don't buy anything his lawyer is saying. I don't believe anything his lawyer is saying. Right now, I do have access to the 14-page indictment. So, guess what, bitch? I got on my mother goose glasses, and I am ready to read. So, I'm going to Let's go, go ahead and um, read the indictment with y'all. I'm going to screen record it so you guys can, you know, look at the pages along with me. So, give me a chance to set this up because we are going to go ahead and... Uh, Get this case cracking, child. All right, so this is page one of the indictment here. They and got it all his aliases. Sean Combs, Puff Daddy, aka mm -hmm. P Diddy, Diddy, D D, P D, aka Love Child. He got all these damn aliases. Anyways, the defendant abused, threatened, coerced women and others around him to fulfill his sexual why he desires, his name. protect his reputation, and conceal his me. conduct. To do so, Combs relied on employees, resources, and the influence of a multifaceted business empire that he led and controlled, creating a criminal enterprise whose members and associates and attempted to engage in, amongst other crimes, sex trafficking, forced labor, kidnapping, bribery, and obstruction of justice. The defendant operated his business headquartered at various times in Manhattan and Los Angeles, 
under a variety of United States-based corporate entities, including Bad Boy. Bad Boy Entertainment, Combs Enterprise, Combs Global, corporate entities in the Combs business include, amongst other things, record labels, a recording studio and apparel line, alcoholic spirits business, a marketing agency, and a television network and media company. This is about the drain. The defendant is engaged in and persistent, persuasive patterns of abuse towards women and other individuals. This abuse was at times verbal, emotional, physical, and sexual. Mm. As part of his pattern of abuse, Combs manipulated women into participating in highly orchestrated performances of sexual activity with male commercial sex workers. At times, Combs and others acting at his direction made arrangements for women and commercial sex workers to fly to Combs' location. Combs ensured participation from the women by, amongst other things, obtaining and distributing narcotics to them, controlling their careers, leveraging his financial support, and threatening to cut off the same, and using intimidation and violence. Physical abuse by Sean Combs was reoccurring and widely known on numerous occasions from at least about 2009 and continued for years. Combs assaulted women by, amongst other things, striking, punching, dragging, throwing objects at, and kicking them. Mm. These assaults were at times witnessed by others and included one instance at a Los Angeles hotel which we saw. in March of 2016, which was captured on video and later publicly reported, where Combs kicked, dragged, and threw a vase at a woman as she was attempting to leave. When a member of the hotel security staff intervened, Combs attempted to bribe the staff member to ensure silence. Combs' violence was not limited to these women. It extended to his employees, witnesses, and witnesses to his abuse and others. Sean Combs, the defendant, used Combs' business, including certain employees, to carry out, facilitate, and cover up his abuse and commercial sex. These employees include security staff, household staff, personal assistants, high-ranking supervisors and other close associates acted as Combs' intermediaries and their conduct was facilitated and assisted by Combs in control of Combs' business. So once again, this is why a lot of these folks in the industry are quiet, um, like his BFF Harvey Pierre and many others, because they were just as involved. This is no different than the R. Kelly case. When shit got hot, folks started, you know, telling on each other and jumping shit. Mm -hmm. Same thing with Diddy. These men cannot do these things by themselves. They oh, have sure. to have help, okay? So let me go ahead and continue on. From at least 2008 through on, or about the date of filing of this incident, Sean Combs, the defendant, and others known and unknown were members and associates of a criminal organization, Combs Enterprise, or The Enterprise, Members and associates of Combs Enterprise engaged in and attempted to engage in, amongst other activities, sex trafficking, forced labor, interstate transportation for purpose of prostitution, coercion, enticement to engage in prostitution, narcotic offenses, kidnapping, arson, bribery, and obstruction of justice. The Combs Enterprise included in its leadership its members its associates constituted an enterprise as defined by Title 18, United States Code Section 1961. Well, we don't need to hear this part. They're just repeating a lot of the stuff in uh, Combs Enterprises, Combs Global. They're going to keep saying it. No. Ah! I'm going to kind of skip around a bit because they're kind of repeating themselves. So on line Thank 11, you. it says the purpose <laughs> of Combs Enterprise, including the following, operating a global business, in media, entertainment, and lifestyle industries, including, amongst other things, record labels, recording studio, and apparel line, and an alcoholic spirits business. They repeat Then on uh, page six, they go on to say, Combs and other members and associates of Combs Enterprise wielded power and prestige of Combs' role at the Combs business to intimidate, threaten, and lure female victims into Combs' orbit, often under the pretense of a romantic relationship Combs then used force, threats, and force and coercion to cause victims to engage in extended sex acts with male commercial sex workers that Combs referred to, amongst other things, as freak-offs. Freak-offs were elaborate, were elaborate and produced sex performances that Combs arranged, directed, and masturbated during and often electronically recorded. In arranging these freak-offs, Combs, with the assistance of members and associates of Combs Enterprise, transported and caused to be transported commercial sex workers across state lines internationally. 
This is why the feds are involved. We are talking about international travel with people who, who may or may not have been sex workers were brought across state lines. That is no joke, okay? Mm -hmm. Freak-offs occurred regularly, sometimes lasted multiple days, days. often involved multiple commercial sex workers. During freak-offs, Combs distributed a variety of controlled substances to victims in parts to keep the victims obedient and compliant. Sometimes unbeknownst to the victims, Combs kept video he filmed of the victims engaging in sex acts with these commercial workers. After freak-offs, Combs and the victims typically received IV fluids to recover from the physical exhaustion and drug use. Imagine how long he had these women crazy. fucking. I don't even know what other words to use. This lasted four days, so I'm sure these people were tired, sore as hell, dehydrated, mm. to the point where you need IV fluids because you've been getting rammed through for days. This oh is God. sick and demonic. This is nothing but sex magic. Let me continue. Members and associates of Combs Enterprise include high-ranking supervisors, security staff, household staff, personal assistants, and other business employees. They facilitated the freak-offs, amongst other things, booking hotel rooms for freak-offs, stocking hotel rooms in advance with the required freak-off supplies. Not the supplies! Baby oil, oh, lubricants, extra baby. linens, lighting, cleaning the hotel rooms after the freak-offs to try and mitigate the room damage, arranging for travel for victims and commercial sex workers. Then they're going to say, Combs with requested supplies delivering large sums of cash to Combs to, play the to pay the commercial sex workers and scheduling the delivery of IV fluids in or about March 2024 during searches of Combs residence in Miami, Florida and Los Angeles, California. Law enforcement sees various freak out supplies including narcotics and more than a thousand bottles of baby oil. A thousand? A thousand bottles. That is insane. He had an entire CVS in his home. A baby oil. Damn, I don't know if they got a thousand bottles. <laughs> you gotta start. Then they go on to say, Combs subjected victims to physical, emotional, and verbal, and verbal abuse to cause the victims to engage in freak offs. Combs maintained control over his victims through, amongst other things, physical violence, promises of career opportunities, granting and threatening to withhold financial support, and by other coercive means, including tracking their whereabouts, dictating the victims' appearances, monitoring their medical records, controlling their housing, and supplying them with controlled substances. During and separate from the freak-offs, Combs, amongst other things, hit, kicked, and threw objects and dragged victims at times by their hair, these assaults often resulted in injuries that took days or weeks to heal. Mm. Combs also threatened victims' careers and livelihoods, including if they resisted partaking in the freak offs. Victims believed they could not refuse Combs' demand without risking their financial or job security or without repercussions in the form of physical or emotional abuse. Combs also used sensitive, embarrassing, incriminating recordings that he made during the freak offs as collateral to ensure continued mm. obedience and silence of the victims. Not you. If this does not sound like he's running his own black version of Mossad, I don't know what the hell this is. Not as I'm reading this, I'm getting more and more pissed. This was yeah, so calculated and that. devious. This man is a Harlem shake version of Mossad because that is what they do to princes, sheiks, government entities to keep them under their thumb. Okay? That's the same thing that they're saying that Ghislaine Maxwell learned from her daddy. Because he was very much involved in that mess. This is sounding very, very Jeffrey Epstein-ish to me, but the hip-hop version of Jeffrey Epstein and Ghislaine Maxwell. Let's continue. Members and associates of, Com of Combs Enterprise, including Combs, security personnel at times, carried firearms. On more than one occasion, Combs himself carried and brandished firearms to intimidate and threaten others, including victims and witnesses, to his abuse. In or about March 2024, during the search of Combs' residence in Miami and Los Angeles, California, law enforcement seized firearms, ammunition, including three AR-15s with defaced serial numbers, as well as drum magazines. Mm. Members and associates of Combs Enterprise enabled Combs' control over victims by following his directions regarding financial payments to victims advancing or suppressing the victim's career opportunities and acquiring the controlled substances Combs used to keep the victims compliant. 
Members and associates of Combs Enterprise at times witness Combs violence towards the victims or the victims injuries caused by Combs without intervening. Instead, members and associates of Combs Enterprises help conceal the violence and abuse by amongst other things, assisting Combs in monitoring and preventing victims from leaving locations such as hotels or Combs' residence. These occasions include instances in which victims were required to remain in hiding, sometimes for several days at a time to recover from injuries that Combs inflicted without being publicly observed. We know that he did this for a fact reporter when he busted her nose and she had to hide out. He did this with Cassie when he beat her so bad in that hotel room that she had to hide out. Um, also him having these firearms on him. Cassie also stated that in her original deposition. So it looks like a lot of the things that I have been reporting and others have been reporting for a while now is here in the federal indictments. Members and associates of Combs Enterprises also assisted Combs in locating and contacting victims who attempted to flee his abuse. When employees witnessed his abuse or others threatened Combs' authority or reputation, Combs and members and associates of the enterprise engaged in acts of violence, threats of violence, threats of financial and reputational harm, and verbal abuse. These acts of violence include kidnapping and arson. Who got kidnapped? In addition, on multiple occasions, Combs threw both objects and people as well as hit, dragged, choked, and shoved oh, others. People. When Combs' authority or reputation was threatened by the possibility of negative publicity or legal or law enforcement action against him, including in and about late 2023, following public allegation of Combs' crimes, Combs and members and associates of his enterprise pressured witnesses and victims, including through attempted bribery to stay silent, not report what they experienced or new to law enforcement. On phone calls, Combs and other members and associates of the enterprise, amongst other things, provided these victims and witnesses with false narratives of events in an effort to conceal Combs' crimes, and Combs caused these calls to be recorded on at least two occasions. So this goes back to what I was reporting around this time last year, when he was trying to, you know, when everybody was giving him props, like, oh, he's giving back the publishing. Oh, he got a change of heart. And I called bullshit. Mm -hmm. And remember, later on, it came out that for people to get their publishing back, they had to sign NDAs, stating that they would not speak about Justin, Diddy, or his mama. Reassigning the music publishing rights to artists who helped make his record label Bad Boy Records into what it is today. Let me tell y'all something. I'm not boosted or impressed by this gesture, okay? Let's start there. Him giving back publishing to mu half the music that's in this publishing Somebody is older knows. than most of y'all in this chat. Half y'all don't know these damn songs. Y'all ain't gonna go back and listen to no damn Carl Thomas, g Depp. And let's not forget, he sold the popular songs. Oh, I'll call him Johnny Depp is G-Depp. <laughs> he sold a lot of the very popular publishing already. And let's not forget, he sold the popular songs. Did we forget that? I see a lot of people who are confused about the whole, you know, why would he want them to sign an NDA saying that they can never disparage Puffy, Bad Boy, Janice Combs, or Justin Combs? A lot of people do not understand why Justin Combs is in there. Okay. I heard the NDAs don't matter if there was a crime committee. You what? <laughs> you you can't use an NDA when you're guilty of committing crime. So And if you go back and you watch my breakdown, I did two videos on the Puff and May situation, one in 2020 and one in 2021, I believe, maybe 2022. Um and I broke that down in there. Justin Combs from the time he was a tot mm -hmm. has been making money off of publishing off of all of these artists because that's a hustle that a lot of people do right in order to create generational wealth they'll put their kids' names on an album even though they have nothing mm. to do with it dj Khaled does it with Assad. uh beyonce has done it with blue ivy even though they really don't have nothing to do with the music it's another way to keep the money in the family so instead of giving that publishing to somebody else and helping build somebody else's generational wealth you can just put your kid's name on the publishing and then they can get money, you know, they can get all future revenue. So Justin has been living good off of all these people's music and publishing that he had nothing to do with. That is why he's a part of the NDA. Diddy doesn't want anybody dragging Justin, okay? 
Mace was one of the first people to really put it out there because he knew all of this was coming down the pipeline. So him trying to give back that publishing was very much calculated. And I mm. stated this a year ago before any of this stuff ever came out. And they go on to say, the racketeering conspiracy. From at least in or about 2008, through on or about the date of the filing of this indictment, in the Southern District of New York and elsewhere, Sean Combs, the defendant and others known and unknown, being persons employed and associated with Combs Enterprises, described in paragraph six through 12, engaged in activities in which affected interstate and foreign commerce, knowingly combined, conspired and agreed together with each other to violate the racketeering laws of the United States, Title 18, United States Code Section. We can skip the rest Act. of this. It's just a whole bunch Five. of Five, provisions of state law, California penal code, chargeable under the following provisions, State law category seven. I'm going to skip around a bit. Yeah, girl. Transportation and inducement to travel for the purpose of prostitution. Okay, let's back up a little bit. Around a bit. Then they go on to say multiple acts um, under Title 18 relating to the transportation and inducement to travel for the purpose of prostitution and other illegal sexual activities and multiple offenses involving the possession with intent to distribute or the distribution of narcotics and controlled substances, including cocaine, oxycodone, alparzimalam, mm. method, methamphetamine, child, and a bunch of other drugs. Right. Ketamine, <laughs> I, I don't do drugs. I don't know all these names, um, but I do recognize ketamine, child. So he was out here doing all types of nonsense. Mm. You know, instead of just making his love album, he was pimping out people, mm. uh, bribing people, threatening folks, and he was also a drug mule, per this indictment. Then around line 17, count three, the transportation to engage in prostitution, they're saying from at least about 2009, okay, up to and including about 2024, the Southern District of New York and elsewhere, Sean Combs knowingly transported an individual in interstate and foreign commerce with the intent for that individual to engage in prostitution and attempted and aided and abetted and willfully caused transportation of female victims and commercial sex workers on inter in interstate and foreign commerce. On they are repeating a lot so of this stuff. Probably having her engage in being a whore as well. And let's not... This Wait, poor Carisha. Yeah, I ass. was just thinking about that. I'm like, I'm about to get, get in her ass. <laughs> Pause. But it's like, considering he's into all of this and he currently had a thousand bottles of baby oil at both of his houses. Like, bro, there's no way you didn't see this freak shit happening. There's no way you wasn't a part of this freak shit. So, I just call cap on a lot of what she said. And, I mean, she did state, like, oh, well, I guess she, maybe she was implying that, oh, he didn't put his hands on her. And, okay, that's one thing. But don't try to make it seem like you weren't involved in this freak shit that Cassie was accusing him of doing. So, that's why I was always side-eyeing her. That's why he was fucking with her. He wasn't fucking with her because he thought she was so beautiful and amazing and blah, blah, He fucking with her because she was with the shits. Hello? Hello? Two plus two is four. That's why he was fucking with her because she was down to do whatever. And she was even talking about how she was getting pissed on. Imagine what other freak shit she was doing. And then in a lawsuit, they said that she was uh, transporting drugs with him. So she was a part of all this weird shit. That's why I've always been on her head. Fuck out of here, Carisha. And that they engaged weird in her. prostitution. <laughs> Looking at you, Carisha. Since, you know, she's a whore and loves to brag about being a whore. So... I don't know what's happening. This isn't my, my doing. And let's not forget, he's very much tied to Zeus Network, Lemon Pepper, and all the baddies. Because there's been all types mm. of rumors. I would not be surprised. As oh, yeah. That, uh, what's the chin? Chin. Natalie Nunn. They were saying that she was basically pimping those girls out. So she's working with Diddy to pimp those bitches out on the baddies. Wow. Wow. More comes out that some of those baddies were also some of the girls that were being pimped from east to west coast. Because remember, in my deep dive, Diddy was getting ready to have a show on Zeus Network. And him and Lemmy are very close. And they've been saying them baddies are out here selling a little something something. 23 and I'm here with? City Girls. The City Girls. Y'all know what it is. How you feeling? Where you know me from? I don't know. You remember? We went on, where did we go? We went on a trip. Remember where we went? No, it was 
like a group of us. It seems like I ain't with this whole shit. I don't know what y'all talking about. I can't remember. Oh, yeah, I know you. That's why I know you from. I know. Wait, you remember now? Oh, okay. Yeah. All right. Yeah, <laughs> well, now saying. we're here. <laughs> Girl, that was not what I was going to talk about. Did you know it's the fifth? Do you know it's the fiftieth day of hip hop today? No. Me neither. It's just, you know, I don't like people dangling things over my head. And it, it just felt like every time what I needed it? something or I needed, you know, a, a, a event was happening, he would be like, hey, you know, I just, you know, sent you this amount of money as a bonus check uh, or I'll have this bonus check for you coming, but I need you to do this. And I'm like, wait, so you, you're basically bribing me to do something. I'm not saying I did anything against my will. But I will say, you know, I just hated the fact that he would always use something over my head. So, like, if the, the show was still in editing, he would be like, oh, if you don't do this, I'm going to make you look bad. Or I'm going to do this. Or I'm going to do that. And I'm like, what the heck? Down to the premiere of the show. You know, I, be I, I almost didn't show up. Wait, which, which show? Um, the show I was doing on Zeus. So, so I was on One More Chance. Okay, okay. Oh. Right. And even that production was crazy. So, you know, I... I didn't want to deal with him, but he he held that over my head because I wanted to end it. Because I'm like, you know what? You're talking. You're full of shit. You know, you said he was going to do this show, this, 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 this. He would promise a lot of things, but then wouldn't give it the way you want it unless you did this. He would always keep you wanting more. I was more. trying to say, let me smash it on the chase on the show. Like because he is. He's using his me, power. They call him Lemon Pepper. Listen, he's using his <laughs> power. <right? laughs> you hear that? It's true though. Yeah, he's a billionaire now. It's, it's like that. he's not a billionaire yet, but which you know I praise he get there because he's gonna need it for them lawsuits. But you know it's unfortunate. Oh, oh he's he my he Yes, he's he's actually I think, but you know it's unfortunate. Did he get now Diddy though? Yes, he's he's actually I think maybe worse than Diddy. So I would not be surprised. That's the Zeus nigga. Surprised that this rabbit hole goes even deeper and more people are indicted. So then on line 20, this is basically the end. They're just going over more of the violations and code. So around the last line, which is line 20, as a result of committing the offenses alleged in the count three of the indictment, Sean Combs, the defendant shall forfeit to the United States pursuant Title 18, United States Code Section 2428, any and all property, real and personal, constitute nor derived from proceeds obtained directly or indirectly as a result <laughs> sure of said offense <laughs> and any and all property, real or personal that was used. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They said not the main Commissions shit. of said offense, including but not limited to sums of money in the United States currency representing. All right, y'all. So Mother Goose, a.k.a. TT, did her thing, broke down that indictment for y'all. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. What do y'all think about all of this? And do you think that this is basically going to snowball into something bigger because trust and believe so. Diddy was not alone. And if he's looking at real jail time, which he is, he's going to start singing and throwing people under the bus. And I think this is why a lot is of people in the industry right today. now are quiet. Diddy's not the only one. And like I said um, earlier this year, we are in the age of Aquarius and a lot of people are tired of being used, abused, and mistreated. Mm. For so long, this industry has not been fair. You've yeah. had people who've gained power, and then they turn around and they become the enslavers to people who they deem beneath them. So it's really sad. Mm. You know, all of the things he was blessed with, only to allow ego and arrogance to basically tear down his castle. And I believe his sons will go down as well. And stop acting like they're 12 and 13. These are grown yeah, men grown. who are closer to 30 than they are 20. So let's stop with the, oh, leaving his kids out of it. His kids were also indicted. The only one that was not indicted was Quincy. And that's yeah, not his Quincy. biological child. So I'll be sure, hold your son tight and keep him away from this fuck shit. So with that being said, I look forward to meeting I've always liked Quincy the best. Um, this is crazy. This is insane. The fact that he had all those bottles of baby oil is what's sending me. Like, what? That is so trifling. 
Um, so yeah, we're gonna see what takes place and how much time he ends up getting and who else goes down with him because I do believe there will be others that he will throw under the bus. Um, and there will be others who, you know, come out and reveal even more stuff about him. As they're interrogating other people, people start getting scared and they start snitching. So I think, you know, even crazier stuff is going to come out about what he's been up to. So really wild. And I wish Carisha would just be honest about her, her part in all of this. Because, <laughs> like, I don't like how she was trying to play innocent. And I didn't see none of that. I what I can't speak on that. That wasn't my experience. It was a goddamn lie. And sure, she ain't got to talk about nothing. She could just stay silent. But don't lie. Don't come out with lies, bitch. Anyway, <laughs> this is wild. But we'll see what takes place. Y'all let me know what y'all think. Let me know what other videos you're going to watch. And I'll see y'all on the next one. Bye.